Hey folks, Redneck Vapor here. Got another video for y'all tonight. And it's about this right here. This is the Kanger Tech Pro Tank Mini 2 version 2. All right, folks. Let's go into zoom diggity mode and right. take a closer Folks, look. here we are in zoom diggity mode. We're taking a look at the Mini Pro Tank 2 from Kanger Tech. Same old, pretty much same box that uh, most of the Kanger Tech things come in nowadays. But let me show you one thing that I've noticed about a couple of the newer products I've gotten. They've got this deal on the side you scratch off like a lottery ticket and it's got this number under there. That number is your security code for your authenticity, which I think that's really neat because of all the cloning empire that's going on right now. This this assures you that this is a genuine Kanger product, so I like that about that. When you open your box, of course, you're going to get some instructions, and this explains a little more in detail about the security code on the side of your box. Instructions. Ah, I got ripped off. No, of course, I've done took mine out of there. And this slot here, you're going to get this gunmetal looking piece right here, which actually holds the head to the unit. And right here is where your tank will be. You've got a couple extra O-rings in there for your drip tip or whatever you might want to use them for. You get two heads. I believe one of them's a 1.8, which I have in here, and the other one was a 2.8. Four or 2.6 somewhere around that range I ended up putting it in my other my Pro Tank 2 regular size Pro Tank 2 which these heads the Pro Tank 2 Pro Tank 1 and the EVOD heads are all compatible with each other so that makes that pretty easy as far as finding the heads for them but that's what's in the box <clears throat> stick this over here now that, in my opinion folks, that is one sharp looking unit right there. Especially on an Ego battery. I mean that just looks good on an Ego battery. It's made for an Ego battery, which may be why it looks so good on it, but this looks good and it's quality product too. This is Pyrex glass tank on here. Just feeling this, the tank is obviously heavier than the battery is so. That's definitely, this This gets a, a thumbs up from me as far as the looks of it. This is a really sharp looking product right here. So, uh, these are just like the uh, Pro Tank 2. You pull this, you untwist this right here. So I'll go ahead and do it for y'all. So I don't get juice everywhere. There's your head. You got your wick sticking out the sides. And then you fill these down the side here, just like you would the Pro Tank 2s. Just make sure you don't get it in that hole right there. That's your air channel, air chimney, whatever everybody else calls them. Now stick it in there like that right there and twist it up good and snug. You don't have to like get a pair of vice grips or anything like that and get it super tight. On the front, you got a nice Kanger Tech logo. Removable changeable drip tip, which I think this is a pretty nice how that drip tip goes on there and makes that look nice and flush. Pretty cool. Anyway, that's pretty much that. Let me stick this back on this battery. Listen, folks, if you if you're new to vaping and you want a good tank, a nice looking good tank, this right here is a in my opinion, a damn good looking good tank you know what I mean it looks good and it performs good let me have a vape on that yep this thing pushes the vapor folks I recommend you give it a shot there uh, let's see if I can think of anything else about this other than the fact that it looks good folks I really like the looks of this right here so, that's pretty much all I got in zoom diggity mode.
All right, folks, since we've gotten a, a really close look at this thing, I'm going to tell you something. Beginners out there that got your CE5s and your EVODs and stuff like that, if you want a really good-looking tank to take out with you to kind of show off or whatever, this right here is a good-performing, good-looking tank. I'm not saying if your CE5s and everything are working for you just fine, just, that's fine. If you want to kind of get you an upgrade to kind of reward yourself, I would get one of these right here. Because I really love the flavor on this thing. I love how it performs. It's easy to clean. It comes apart. You can completely break these down just like the original Pro Tank 2s. So that Pyrex glass, all that stuff comes apart. I should have did that in the close-up, but I didn't. So sorry about that, folks. I figured out how to rebuild the heads in these things using micro coils. So if you'd like me to do a video on that, put a comment in the description in the crotch box. Some of them call it. Put a description in the in the crotch box down there of what you would like me to do, <laughs> and I'll be sure to do that for you. And uh, I had a comment on one of my other videos. I believe it was the Magneto one, talking about the performance on mine. Believe me, if you're out there, I did listen to you. I went and checked out the, the thing you were talking about on building coils and stuff like that and take a look. I think I gotta put some more liquid in there. <laughs> but anyway, performing a lot better than it was. Of course, I'm I'm not trying to sub ohm at this time because all of my e liquids are twelve and eighteen pretty much. I don't wanna <clears throat> that's enough throat hit for me right now. I believe I've got that coil sitting at about one point three, somewhere around there, which is enough for me right now, but just for your entertainment, I'm going to give it a shot some of them one of these days. Y'all just, I'm, I'm still working on my coil building and stuff like that and getting all the uh, how many wraps, how many this or whatever all together before I start trying to show any of that off. But anyway, I got a new liquid today while I was uh, at our local brick and mortar there. It's called, the company's called Time Bomb. I don't know if you can see that or not, but this flavor is called Pixie. If you want a little bit of a hint, I ain't going to give you a hint. If you want me to do a review on that liquid, put it in the crotch box below and uh, I'll do a review on it. But uh, it's called Pixie, so think about that. should give you somewhat of an idea of what it tastes like, but I guess that's all. For today on that, folks, this is Redneck Vapor. Y'all keep on vaping, and I'll see you next time. Oh, look at that. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, man, that's some sexy pieces right there. Oh, yeah. I can't wait for them and them to stick in the bottom. Beep, beep. Come to me. You know, get off of there. Hey, wake up. What are you doing? Hmm. Hmm.